In this video, I will show you how to revive important NPCs that have important quest lines. And I will also show you how to reset aggressive NPCs like merchants. Now, first step, we will attack this merchant or the merchant's donkey. But we don't want to kill him, we just want to make him aggressive. So hit the donkey a few times or hit him a few times, but not enough to kill him. Have you gone mad? Afterwards, once the merchant is aggressive or hostile, you will no longer be able to purchase stuff from him. Even if you fast travel back to the location of the merchant, notice that he remembers you are aggressive towards him and he will ride his donkey and try to avoid you. Now, we will go to another location in important NPC. This NPC is required for uh, learning sorcery, spells, and she gives quest lines. So this is a very important NPC. Now let's go to her location. Because there's a guard protecting her, we will use the fur calling finger ribbon. And what this does is allow you to summon real players to help you attack enemies. So once I've used the fur calling finger remedy, I can now summon a cooperator. So find the golden lines and they should be scattered around. And my first cooperator has arrived. You can have a maximum of two cooperators, but one is enough for this easy guardian. Okay, so we go into the mist and we attack this mad pumpkin head. This mad pumpkin head is protecting the important NPC that we want to talk to. So go ahead and attack and defeat this mad pumpkin again. The weapon I am using to attack is called the Magma Worm Scale Sword. A large dragon called Magma Worm Makar drops this weapon when you defeat him. And this dragon is located near the Grand Lift of Vectus. Now if you want to get this same sword, look at my channel and search for Overpowered Dragon Sword. Okay, once you have defeated the guard, you can now activate the grace. And after activating, we will now meet the important character that is behind this door. Her name is Selen. Now there are multiple important characters that give quest lines in Elden Ring, and she is one of them. Basically, we want to test our reviving, so we'll attack her until she disappears. We should part ways in this manner. Now we will fast travel back to the same location to verify that she is no longer there to help us, to give us quest lines, or to give us spells. The next step is to go up to the north and towards the main academy gate. Now I have a video on how to enter the academy. Search in my channel if you have not unlocked this place yet. 
Okay, so we want to go in the left entrance. Go down the left entrance area and head right down to a large gate at the bottom of this bridge. And when you arrive, you should see flashing thing near the gate. You want to pick up that thing. It is called a Celestial Dew. Now, if you get attacked and killed, it's okay. As long as you grab it in time, you will respawn at the spawn point. And what you want to do right now is go to the Church of Vows. It's just located right there. If you have not gone there, just go there and find the grace and go inside. Now, once you have the Celestial Dew, you can talk to the large turtle on the left here. His name is Mario. And if you talk to him, uh, he'll tell you about the Celestial Dew. If you select the show Celestial Dew. Do you up. possess any Celestial Dew? Then I would like to share my knowledge with you. Concerning the miracle of this Church of Vows, Radigan once cleansed himself with Celestial Dew repented his territorial aggressions, and swore his love to Renala. The order of the Erdri and the fate of the moon were conjoined, and all the wounds of war forgiven. This miracle blesses the church to this day, and so you need only follow Radigan's example to restore any bond, however strained or severed, to its rightful state of harmony. Okay, so basically using the Celestial Dew allows you to restore bonds. And so we'll go to the statue and press triangle and use the Celestial Dew. And eventually it will tell you that your sins are absolved. Now what we can do is we can go back to the merchant that we made aggressive and fast travel there and see if he is still angry at us. Nope. He now sells things to us. He's no longer angry, no longer hostile. He's no longer aggressive. You can purchase and sell stuff to him again. Okay, now let's fast travel to Selen, the important NPC, and see if he's still alive. She is alive. Okay, so please give video a like. Young please Atlantis. subscribe, and we'll see you next time. You are a tadpole when it comes to magic. Infantile, without the legs to walk. So, to become a sorcerer, first, you must face your ignorance. Now, shall we start learning?